News number eight. As a four-year-old girl offered a sacrifice. What? All right. This is Shobham. Are you in the live chat? I need you for this one. Assam, okay, so what's Assam? Assam is a city in India, apparently, or a state or a city. I think it's a city. Okay, so the story starts by, like this. Four-year-old girl offered a sacrifice by Tantric to trace lost mobile phone. Am I reading this right? Is this, not, is this real news? Shopam, is this real news? Please tell me this is not real news. Shopam, please. Okay, so now, okay, let me re read this again because I cannot believe this. Four-year-old girl offered a sacrifice by Tantric to trace lost mobile phone. Okay, G GV is saying Assam is a state. Okay. Assam is a state in Northeast India. By the way, for the Indians that want to live in the comment section, oh, how... How come you don't know that Assam is a state in India? Oh wow, you see, you feel like you're so informed. Well, let me t tell me this: Do you know the states in Iran? I'm from Iran. Do you know the states from my country? Well, or from Canada? Uh, do you know the provinces? I'm also a Canadian. Do you know the provinces in Canada? Do you think everybody should know the states of your country? Where you do? Do you know the states of the states and provinces of every other country? No. So then go fuck yourself. All right. Shabham, say tantrics are like magic men. It is real news. Okay. Shubham, is this as does this tantric thing before before people accuse me of being anti Hindu bigot or something? Does this have to, anything to do with Hinduism? Right? I'm gonna read the summary. You give me an explanation on whether or not this has anything to do with Hinduism. Alright, so the summary of the news. Another incident from Assam has come to light where a four year old girl was allegedly beheaded and offered as a sacrifice by a tantric, which means witch doctor, in Assam to trace a lost mobile phone. Are you fucking serious? The girl, like, <clears throat> wow. This, the girl, Sunu Godba, who was missing since October 24, was allegedly tortured and beheaded. Beheaded by the witch doctor. The body of the girl was recovered on Monday afternoon from a forest near her home in Ratanpur Tea Estate in Charijadu, Char 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 Charijadu district of Upper Assam. The gruesome act involved four people who under the influence of a person who practiced black magic committed such a crime. Holy shit. Shopam, where is your commentary? I need to know if this has anything to do... Okay, here, Shopam. Tantrics are often associated with Hinduism, and Hinduism has tantric practitioner, practitioners, but not all tantrics are Hindu. Yeah, I, I, what, I, what my understanding is, was that tantrics are un, either uh, more close to Buddhism or Hinduism. Here's an interesting thing, because... A lot of Hindus or so-called Hindu atheists, we still haven't decided if that's an accurate term or not, are going to say that this has nothing to do with Hinduism. Which, interestingly, are often, not always, often the same people that say Hinduism is just a made-up term that covers many, many things. Many things that are practiced in India. It's not just one thing, there's many things. Any practice or ideology under India, they just grouped it together and they called it Hinduism. So, it, well, based on that, then this is Hinduism. It's an ideology practiced in India, right? So, which one is it? If we, if we attack Hinduism, they just like do a, uh, they just try to dance around it. They're like, you cannot attack Hinduism because Hinduism is not one thing. But then when you, Target something and like, oh, this is Hinduism. Well, like, no, this is not Hinduism. But you just said Hinduism is not one thing. How could this be not Hinduism if Hinduism could be many things? So make up your fucking mind. Let me see what the top comments are. This poor girl. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that's not the picture. But Dipayan is saying, on a different perspective, just think what materialism. Holy shit, is this what I think it is? Is this the most. Desperate, I'm not, I haven't read the rest of the 
a statement yet, but what I think I'm about to read is the most desperate act of whataboutism. Let's see if I'm right. I, and this is guy is probably from India. His name suggests that he's from India, and he's trying to defend. In, yeah, I, yep, definitely from India, and he's trying to defend his country. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I will admit I'm wrong if I am wrong. Deepayan Das is saying, on a different perspective, just think what materialism has brought humanity to. A form is more important than human life. Okay, no, he was. I was wrong. I admitted that I was wrong. Okay, B a little bit right, a little bit wrong. Okay, because he didn't. He, he it's still a little bit of what about is him because he's trying to focus on materialism rather than the tantric practice in India. Okay, May, but at the same time, he wasn't completely shifting away from this crime. Right, he was not like, hey, don't look here, look at there, look at somewhere else. Like the most what about is like that. So it's a pass. It's a pass. I thought it would be worse. Um, I'll, I'll, I think it's fine. John is saying, but did they find the phone? Oh, really? Okay. Uh, for Dick. Okay. Anyways, that's a dark joke. I can't even get behind it. It's more like Sark. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, um, again, if you see a news like this and you say like, "What has the world coming? Has what has the world come to?" Again, you don't have a longer term horizon. The world has come to a place where this is a shocking, rare news. Okay, if you see a news like this and think like, "Wow, the world is," a, I mean, the world is a horrible place still, but is a less horrible place than it used to be. If you see a news like this and you think like, "Oh, what the has the world come to?" then you have no understanding of history because the world has come to a place where this is shocking news. It used to be a place that this was not shocking news, that this was common practice, okay? So, and again, I'm not trying to um, make it seem like this is not a big deal because there's less of it happening. This is horrific! This should have been, this should have not been, this should have been done and over with. This should have never happened in history, but it's, a, it's shocking that it's still happening. It's, it's, it's disgusting. These people, oh my God. I mean, this is horrific, but saying, saying the fact that this is happening less in history is not trying to make light of how horrific this, this is. It's so weird that these things need to be explained because I promise you that people will think this. I promise you that if I say to somebody like, hey, good news, this, this human sacrifice is happening less than before. People think like, oh, so you think it's okay that this girl was sacrificed to find the phone? No, I didn't say that. I did not say that. I did not say that. I did not say that. Why did you assume that I said that? Like, how? How, how did you get that conclusion from what I just said? It's so bizarre that you have to explain that. Saying something is less bad does not mean that it's still, you're saying that it's still not bad. That is so obvious. Okay, uh, Shrepham is saying, look at my messages above. Um, okay, Shrepham is saying, it could be based on some Hindu beliefs which people from that part follow. I can actually say that most Hindus don't really believe in human sacrifices anymore. Yes, Shrepham, but what most Hindus believe in and what Hinduism is, is through separate things. The example I often give is most Christians don't think it's okay most Christians don't think it's okay for you to deny women the position of authority. Most Christians, if you ask Christians, hey, my fellow, my, my Christian friend, do you think women should be allowed to teach? Do you think that's okay? I have not yet met a Christian that says, no, they should not be allowed to teach. Most of them are surprised that you're even asking that. Most of them are like, what the fuck? Of course women should be allowed to teach. What kind of a stupid question is that? But, if you read the Bible, the New Testament, he says, women shouldn't be allowed to teach, okay? So what Christianity teaches and what Christians believe are not the same thing. Most Muslims, most Muslims don't think it's okay for you to beat your wife. The Quran clearly, clearly teaches you that you should be beating your wife if you feel disobedient after trying two other methods. 
Most Muslims don't think that's okay. They're trying to come up for excuses for that Bible, for that Quran verse, okay? Again, what Muslims believe and what Islam teaches are two separate things, okay? So again, what Hinduism teaches, I'm sure Prime is saying I agree with you, okay? Um, all right, okay, okay. Again, when I, sh when I shit on Hinduism, I'm not shitting on Hindus. When I shit on Islam, I'm not shitting on Muslims. When I shit on Christianity, I'm not shitting on Christians. When I shit on Judaism, I'm not shitting on Jews. Oh my god, this video is done for. Anyways. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.